uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Hukar Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elders of the great millstone for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. I say uh, Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of this recent news article from Reuters.com. And this is about like four minutes ago on May the 4th, 2023, at 1 43 uh, p.m. Last updated about an hour ago, and it reads Moscow says U.S. is behind the Kremlin drone attack as air raid sirens in Kyiv. And this is a similar article that I uh, did about the air sirens in uh, Kyiv. But add, add in the additional to that, even though I spoke about this as well, too, you uh, as of lately for the past two days or so. You know, you have uh, Moscow and Russia is pointing fingers at, you know, at the United States and Ukraine as well, too, of that recent uh, drone attack, assassination, you know, of Vladimir Putin. So as the tensions are escalating throughout that whole region of Ukraine, of the wars, the rumors of wars are definitely uh, continuing to escalate now, so more than ever. And I'm reading it again for edification's sake. It says, uh, Moscow says U.S. is behind the Kremlin drone attack as air sirens sound in Kyiv. Uh, Kyiv, if I pronounce that right, Slovakia. And it says, uh, Russian says, it says, Russian said on Thursday that the United States was behind any alleged drone attack on the Kremlin aiming to kill President Vladimir Putin and the air raid sirens again in Kyiv as a darkness fell following attacks in previous night. And I'm gonna bring out the uh, Luke 21 and 9. So these war, these commotions of wars are definitely continuing to escalate. As you have uh, Moscow and Russia, as of recently, pointing fingers at, you know, pointing fingers at the Western countries of Ukraine and the United States, you know, of the uh, recent uh, assassination drone attack attempt to kill the President Vladimir Putin. So that shows you the escalations are definitely going to continue to increase while you having uh, air raid sirens in that area of Kyiv of Ukraine because you've been recently having uh, escalations in the Balkanov region of Ukraine, the Odessa region of Ukraine as well too. So it's definitely going to continue to escalate now so more than ever with the Russian Ukraine situation, you know. And I'm going to bring out the book of uh, Luke chapter 21 verse 9 and it reads to the Holy Scriptures, which is from BibleGateway.com KJV version of the Holy Scriptures. It says, uh, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet by and by. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 10. Then say he unto them, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Right, so that's what we're seeing. Uh, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. While as of lately, like I mentioned again, I repeat, with that recent drone attack attempt to assassinate Vladimir Putin. And you got Moscow and Russia pointing the fingers at Ukraine and the United States, you know? So that shows you it's gonna escalate more tensions now, so more than ever, you know? And I'm gonna bring it out again. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 10, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. Then say he unto them, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, right? nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and this is a prime example right here of the nations shall rise against nations of the increasing of wars and commotions between different nations and different kingdoms as it says again moscow says uh u.s is behind the kremlin attack as air sirens sound in Kyiv. so with that this was just a quick sit down lesson that i want to bring out of this recent news article from rubers.com as of May 4th, 2023 at 1.43 p.m., last updated an hour ago, 
So with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Ukar Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone for pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim scattered through four corners of the globe for pushing the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.